So this is the, uh, uh, the last bit you need to attach with the uh, miter saw. This is uh, for duster hose connector, uh, the uh, bit uh, which is you need to be uh, attached. Definitely uh, must attach with this. Too. Otherwise, you know the dust all come into the face or go everywhere. These are the fittings, and this is the two screws come with it. Uh, supply with the D valve machine. And now you just need to be attach this side. This is little bit the uh, jigsaw, and you need to be. Make sure where this will be. This is maybe uh, just a little bit doing some. Uh, mistakes but they, this is the one 100 percent sure here we go this is just you need to be attached with this and then this part for the other side they're gonna hold tight in together and use the screws Open the screws. And first, you need to be connect the screws on the top one, loose tight. And use for you know if you have a you know, uh, the drill screw drill or screwdriver that's up to you so the other screw is going for this the other side so this is all tight tight and snug so now this is all complete and after if you got the uh, the duster uh, like a hoover to and then you're going to connect with this uh, with the hose and it does not go anywhere if you attach with the, any duster bag or dust bag which is they come separately you can buy separately so you can attach with this so both ways you can use and this is the all complete now and I just uh, you know show you whatever I had uh, They come together if you attach anything more or you can uh, need to be a straight cut um, Like a, a what you can say the track and then straight cut you can buy separately. So thank you very much And now uh, I just forgot to tell you again because I just finished my video But I realized as soon as I opened the box. I just I couldn't find for my key and then I just make sure the box, which is good. You know, always when you open the box and make sure everything you take out from the box, what else you need, and then after you don't find anything, uh, which is the, uh, that's the proper, you know, the key for this, open the tool, open the bolt, and then you can attach the blade with it. So that's why I found the inside, otherwise I just uh, throw in the bin. So now, how you can, uh, open the tool uh, open the bolt with this uh, spanner this is you need to be hold otherwise this is just moving so stop moving this you need to press this button press this button and now you can open otherwise look I just uh, tight it again because I, I lose already and now 
if you try to open the motor moving if you stop moving there or rotating the motor then you just press this one because this is why they uh, give this option because if you change the blade the uh, motor not going to be moved and then you easily open the bit because this is the lock and now I uh, keep moving keep anti-clockwise and lose the bolt and leave it this one this button this lever because you already opened it sorry uh, just uh, drop down the bolt and also this one fitting you need to be out this is not come out this is just a lever like this and they show you they, they how they blade which direction the blade need to be fixed because if you don't put this one this side is not the right direction this is the front side easily just uh, slide it in and after you put this bit on the top because they make the bolt like this because they're not moving and after you need to put the bolt on the top it's not the uh, the difficult anyway and now you can press the lever down again and just to hold it for a few seconds till you can get tight for this bolt This is the right way and now just tightening uh, make sure this fully tight they're not gonna be lose the bolt or break otherwise it's too dangerous and also it's fully tight and also when you're using the mitre saw or any diy work you need the safety glasses and now you you see that this is the all fixed all fitted and the safety glasses need to be first and then use this mitre put the gloves on the, and the gloves when you need for the cut this is not the gloves for the cutting i've got another gloves the thicker one this is the thinner one just the general purpose so this is the uh, the last bit left i just share with you guys i just show you for how you um, attach the blade with the mitre saw and then which direction you need to be put the blade and how you can slide it in the blade and then how you stop the rotating motor during the between during the change in the blade and um, uh, also uh, share with you the small safety uh, option as well which is the very very uh, you apply for the first not the uh, the safeties after you need to be safety first then use the miter saw and i hope you uh, get a little information from this video i uh, hope you enjoy thank you very much take care bye bye Hi guys, um, today we just bring for another unboxing. Uh, so I just, uh, you know, unboxing for the D wall um, <coughs> mitre saw, hand mitre saw, electric one. That this is another cordless one. This is the the wired one. So I just think uh, I just share with you guys for the unboxing and uh, also quick review as well for this machine. Anyway, so I hope you are all well and fine. Uh, so just uh, like our sub and subscribe our channel, you know, just like you just when you did uh, So and on how you did please thank you very much and then also doing that and then also press bell icon button Then you're gonna get all updates latest video coming. So now we can start uh, Unboxing for this. Sorry to all about here uh, I don't have the knife at the moment, beer house knife, so this is a knife so Whenever you use for the uh, kitchen knife be careful don't be uh, unsafe way to open the box and this is the all uh, the top packing 
we need to be open and now um, this is the, the sideway to the vault and this the vault dwe 560 560 and this is the 1350 watts and 5500 rpm round per meter, uh, minute and this is all of the blade sizes and then how you open it so this is the inside so this is the how they look like and this is the guide must read the guide before you start because this is uh, you know very dangerous uh, you know thing so also for you need to cut the wood so always make sure just before the safest way then uh, safety first follow the safety first and these are all Packing. And this is a little bit the juggling a bit and this is the you know the all of it and then you can cut as a straight cut and this is you can attachment with the uh, the microsoft this is the the fitting for the top cover on the mitre and also this is the uh for the vent hose you can put the duster hose and then duster uh you can attach with this one so they don't the dust outside so you can attach with the hose with it this is the one they come with that and this is the blade they come together these uh supply with the uh not separately they come with, together with the machine And Dewalt also is not the uh, the bad uh, the brand anyway. It's very trustworthy, reliable brand, and you can have trust. And we've been and then also whatever tools they make, they're very good tools. They're quite handy, and they uh, make for the cordless. And this is with the cord. I've got the cord one for a cordless first, but I just changed to the cord one because I need for the longer time to use for this one. So. Uh, you know you don't need to hang around with the finish the battery so this is the valve and the duster hose and this is the blade and these all are the accessories that can come together and then also uh you need to make sure to read the manual first how you put the blade and which direction you need to attach the blade with it and they make sure you can intact properly the blade uh, because it's very dangerous job to when you cut the uh, you know the old edges and all long cut so make sure always you can uh, um you know connect the blade safest way and the tight and make sure the all intact and tight and then also these are uh the hose fitting they attach here somewhere uh, sorry and here and then you can attach the duster pad or you know the hoover or duster hoover uh, and that with it and then the hose with so that's why they they can supply you with it and sorry so this is the all about for the blades all about for the v-valve uh, mitre saw and also I, I just uh, trust for these tools anyway because they are reliable brands anyway the other brands also I use uh, with the other brands when I uh, you know do the another vlog or I just uh, give it the name but in this uh, special uh, unboxing vlog I just make for but only the default only not the other brand but the other brand also the reliable as well which are, are, are just quite handy and I use our good experience is very good and this one also they come with the all the settings of uh, which how deep cut you want to need and then you can just have fitting and there you can just do this settings and this is they just uh, uh, show you and they give you the option how deep cut you need to and then also the angle cut and this is the old deepness for the cut you can just 
uh, choose whatever you uh, cut you can choose and this is the uh, the guard on the blade whenever you can just cut they just come uh, with the manual not automatically or when you cut they can go automatically like this and here you can attach with the table uh, with the attachment and this attachment uh, going with this underneath this hole and this is the one the last up to this um, uh, width uh, you can cut the wood and if you want a long cut then you can attach with the another track which is the straight cut and then you can cut together and also that machine i just told you again reliable and reliable brand whenever you uh, think to buy for this you can buy with this v -Volt. i recommend you and now i just uh, say thank you very much to you guys so uh, keep watching our channel and also just whatever i said click subscribe button subscribe our channel and click the bell icon button thank you very much take care bye bye